what will the sacrifice phase do for the wallet? What will it do to hex PLSX PLSX? I want to go to the price angle. What will this, the wallet sacrifice do Ooh. for the coins that are already existing? Yeah, you, you, you touched on this. So essentially with the wallet, I, I'm extreme, game theory wise, it will be extremely smart to launch it after post chain launch and close to after post chain launch, like a month or two, maybe three after, because then you can get the most amount of supply because the dollar value of the coins are going to be a lot lower. The most amount of supply locked away in some kind of away wallet that will never sell. So essentially the moment it goes into a sacrifice balance, all the coins that are hex, PLS and PLSX, we could assume based on his historical performance that that account will never sell. So it's essentially supply that gets removed off of market forever. Um, so I would be extremely bullish. And the wallet itself, there's some cool things that can be done with the wallet. I'm actually, I like it. But the, also, the, the other thing is also that you have the other angle of it is it's extremely hard to onboard people into a new wallet. That's probably the hardest thing you could attempt to do in crypto. Uh, Everyone loves MetaMask, that's true. Correct, yeah, including me. I like MetaMask <laughs> a lot. I would never use another wallet. <laughs> yeah, like onboarding people into a, into a new wallet is absolute insanity. I mean, you would have to have some kind of strong value proposition for people to be like, yeah, I'm, I'm switching over to this wallet because I'm not doing it just for it. So it has to have some functionality that I'm like, okay, I 100% need this. Well, I, you know, that's what I was going to say earlier too about uh, staking. So what if, you know, we mentioned PLS staking. I wonder if there's other ways other than liquid loans, things like that. What if the wallet enables PLS staking? What if it has a staking feature in it or some kind of, you know, fee, you know, fee because MetaMask, you know, they take a fee for, for ETH and stuff like that. So I wonder what kind of tokenomics, have you thought about the tokenomics around what the wallet's going to do and actually bring to this, to the ecosystem other than not having to switch the network, you know, the pulse chain for MetaMask? Yeah, correct. Um, so the pulse chain wallet, I'm almost hundred percent certain that we'll have like an internal swap feature. So MetaMask fee, I think, is currently like 0.8%. Don't quote me on it, but it's a lot higher than Uniswap. Like Uniswap is 0.3%. MetaMask is 0.8% unless they reduced it, um, roughly. So the swap fee, I think it, if it has a buy and burn mechanic similar to Pulse X, it could have a value proposition where it would have a coin and the swapping that happens within the wallet could buy back and burn the actual wallet coin. So that would be a good tokenomic. Mm. Um, I'm not as bullish on it as like PLS X or PLS. Um, but I think it's still going to be fine. I still, I, it's going to be one of the better coins to economic wise still, if they if he chooses to do something similar to that. Because if it has a cap cap supply and it has a buyback and burn, pretty cool. I like the face yeah. tokens. And I, I like a lot of how each product has the you know the product market fit. It has the utility. It solves a problem in the ecosystem. It keeps you in this shiny object of Richard Hart stuff. The price go up. It keeps you in there. You're having fun. You're trading. You're staking. You're doing whatever. And they're just more products built around this, you know, walled garden, kind of like an Apple, Apple ecosystem, but, you know, for, for our RH stuff. So the utility of the tokenomics, I think, obviously, Richard, he's, he hasn't failed us yet for tokenomics. So I think that they'll be massive, too. And uh, I, I can't wait to hear more about it. I mean, that's the well, first we need the PLS. We need to have the PLS so we can sacrifice it. That's the thing. It has to come afterwards. Um, so I think Hex, so as well. I how many Man. sacrifice phases do we have to lock up more hex supply? It's just it's that, bullish that's... for hex. No one's talking about that. It's bullish for hex these new sacrifice phases. Yeah, I agree. Yep, yeah, because it's a hell of a lot of supply to move from the market. A hell of a lot. So much, man. So much. Yep. Cool. 